Some people don't realize you need to put on a coat and you need to put it on. Subhanallah, where am I going to put it on? Wallahi, you know what? For as long as you know you're dressed decently and you're covered, and for as long as you know that you're not exposing anything by the will of Allah, do it for the sake of Allah and not for the sake of Abdullah. <laughs> right? And this is why this evening we seated all the Abdullahs down here and all the list at the top there. Mashallah. They say that the sisters are perhaps 80% and the brothers are 20%. Subhanallah. And those 20 dictate the pace. No, that's not going to happen. It's Allah who dictates the pace by the will of Allah. Do you know when you turn to Islam, when you become practicing, or when you've just said your Shahada, you will face many challenges. It happened from the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the earliest of those who accepted the message, they faced persecution in Mecca. So much in terms of persecution that they were shaken and they called out to Allah. They were chosen by Allah to be the first of the people to accept Islam, yet they struggled more than anyone else. They were threatened. Many of them were beaten. Look at Bilal ibn Rabah radiallahu an. What an example. Look at the family of Yasir, known as Al Yasir. How much did they suffer? They were murdered, some of them. May Allah Almighty grant them the highest ranks of Jannah. Allah is promising them paradise because they were the first to turn to Islam. They were the ones who came in right at the beginning. Allah is telling them, you know what? They are the close ones. For them, they will be paradise. They will receive and achieve more than they would ever have imagined. May Allah Almighty make us steadfast. So if Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, radiyallahu anhum jami'an, may Allah be pleased with all of them and the others went through so much in terms of hardship and difficulty. Do you think we're not going to go through hardship and difficulty? You, you need to learn to be a proud Muslim, not pride that, is, that comes with arrogance and haughtiness and belittlement of others and rejection of the truth, but rather the pride as in happiness. I'm happy to be a Muslim. I'm a happy Muslim and I'm proud of my identity. Here is my beard, here is my cloak. And that's why I started the way I did because while arguing about what should go before the other, you might just lose the entire sister. She'll say, you know what? Bugger this whole argument. Neither, neither an abaya nor a cloak, nor a coat. It's out. It can happen. Agreed? People put so much of pressure on others that they get so fed up. They say, I made a mistake. However, look at Allah telling us you will face challenge. You have to face challenge. Don't give up your identity because a few people might have spat in your direction a few people might have said a few hurtful words a few people might have hurt you in one way or another you can deal with that you can deal with that you must deal with that in an appropriate way but it should not deter you regarding your faith if anything it must make you stronger if anything it must make you stronger in your faith if you decide to practice and your own family members are against you it should make you stronger because there were those chosen by allah chosen by Allah who went through that as well.